Hello everybody! I'm making today's video in response to popular demand. Believe it or not, there's a lot of you out there that want to know how to make wood wigs. And that's why I'm not wearing my wood wig. I'm going to start out just like all of you out there, bald. Well, maybe you're all not bald, but I am. And our forefathers were too. We'll talk a little bit about why they wore wigs. It's not going to take a lot to make a wood wig. You're going to need a hot glue gun, lots of hot glue sticks, an old hat that your wife doesn't like, a pair of scissors, a plane, any plane. If you've got a plane, you can make wood wigs. Because what the planes do is they make all kinds of shavings. So the first thing you want to do is experiment a little bit with your planes to figure out what kind of shavings you want to make your, woods, make your wood wigs with. But experiment, find something you're happy with, and then make a whole bunch of it. Because my experience has been it takes at least a five gallon bucket full of shavings to make a good wood wig. The wig that I'm making today is going to be made out of some beautiful pine shavings that you see on the right and some spectacular walnut shavings for highlights on the left. The first thing you're going to have to do is prepare your favorite old hat. The practice of men wearing wigs started way back in the 1700s. To prep your old hat though what you got to do is remove the brim Find yourself a good pair of scissors, cut the brim off. It was King Louis VIII of France that they believe started the uh, idea of wearing wood wigs. He was balding and he had a wig that I believe was made out of horse hair. This will be the first one I've done with this cape on the back. I'm going to remove that drawstring from the inside and the outside. Back in the 1700s when the king started the wearing of wigs, it caught on with nobility. All the noblemen and the high society people, it was considered a status symbol to wear a wig. The wig wearing craze spread across Europe and came to the United States with the early American settlers. I think my old hat is just about perfect. I found that it's easier to make the wigs if you've got something to work on like this. Just Figure it out, whatever you can come up with. This is an old funnel with a, with a raggedy old towel wrapped around the end of it. It's going to give me something to hold that old hat while I work on it. And speaking of old hat, this one's clean. The old wigs weren't from what I've read about them. They were quite nasty. They got infested with bugs and lice and they started to smell really bad. And they put a special powder on them to kind of make them smell better and get rid of the bugs. And that's why they were called powdered wigs. I made my wood shavings with a Stanley number 140 skew block plane you see sitting there and I did make a bunch of shavings. I got them sitting right next to where I'm going to work all ready to go. When making wood wigs I start from the back, work towards the front and work from the bottom up. What I do is I put a bead of hot glue, usually a couple inches long, grab my uh, pieces of wood something other than my fingertip and start sticking them on. I've taken these pieces of wood and I've cut them to the lengths that I want to use. They're all prepped so I don't have to do it while the hot glue is starting to cool on me. Very very time consuming. I spent at least an hour making wood shavings and it's going to take a good hour to two hours probably to, to glue them all on making this wig. So I'm going to continue gluing these on and then we'll break in and show you the progress. So now I've got a row across the back and it's time to add some highlights. I think for that I'm going to randomly place some of that walnut. This doesn't look so random does it? dabs here and there and add the highlights and this is going to look good when these things were popular back in the 1700s the men used to shave their heads in order to prevent the lice from spreading from their wigs to their hair and after those beautiful highlights it's time for another row so I've added a couple more rows and a few more highlights and it's come along just fine. 
I think it's safe to say that I have never been accused of having class or being refined. It's going to be a long night. So that's as far as I'm going to take it on the back. I didn't go all the way up over the top yet. I do the top as a final touch. Now I'm going to turn, turn my little form there and start working on a side. And here's a look at it from the side with the first few rows put on. I'm starting from the bottom of that flap that goes over the neck. If you don't have one of those, just put longer pieces on there to make your, uh, your wooden wig hair as long as you want it to be. And did I mention that the ancient Egyptians, they also used to wear wigs. Now it's time to add a couple more highlights. If you don't do this right, you get some pretty hot and burned fingers. And here it is with a few more rows added to the side. And I thought it only fair that you all should know that my, my extreme talent for making wood wigs as exceptional as what it is, I'm kind of cheating because my wife is a professional hairdresser, so I realize it's not fair. And so you can see I've continued to work my way up the side. I'm going up over the top. You can see the uh, seam lines on the hat. There's the top dead center. I'm going to continue these rows until I get up to the top dead center and then switch over to the other side. Looking pretty good so far. And here's a little attention to detail note. I got up to the top on the left side and you can see that nice straight part is going to be up the center. I either folded or I cut those ends before I glued them on. So the right side is progressing quite well. Could you imagine our forefathers, how proud they would be of us to, to see this new trend we're starting? I could just imagine going to the next Midwest Tool Collectors Association meetings or meeting and starting that trend of wearing the wood wig. All these old men coming in proudly wearing their Sunday best with their best wood wig. I mean, it can't get any better than that, can it? I'm sure, just like everything else in life, though, that those wonderful meetings will have the haves and the have-nots. Us have-nots will be wearing our pine wood wigs, and, and the haves, they'll have their wigs made out of rosewood and ebony. I can just picture it. What a sight it would be. And now I'm down to the final row on the right hand side. This is where I get that spectacular part right up the center. Lay on some glue. Make sure I got some straight edges to work with. And put these on nice and tight together. And the back and both sides are done. It's on to the front. I'm applying full length shavings across the front. And they're going to get trimmed when this is all done. So that's pretty much the, the idea with the whole thing. Don't worry a whole, whole lot about length on the shavings you put on. Just make sure they're long enough or too long. And then when it's all done, you can give it a haircut. And more progress is made. I've got just that little bit there to close up at the top. Just a few more pieces and this beautiful wood wig is going to be done. And all you can say is, wow, look at that. A beautiful wood wig. And now it's time to call in the professional. Have you ever done this before? Lots of times. What the heck is that? <laughs> I like that hairstyle. Mm, I think mine will be better. So it's important to get rid of the straggly, two straggly ends. You want it wispy. What about split ends? Split ends? Yeah, I think every one of them split. Actually, you did a pretty good job that the ends aren't looking too terribly bad. How about the roots? The highlights are just right. Maybe we just need to see your eyes a little bit better. Would that, would that be agreeable? Sure. I like to do it not completely straight across, a little up and down. So the ends remain a little bit wispy. 
Also, you might want to cut each piece at an angle. It gives the curl a little better finished end. I'd say you're starting to look a little bit better. Better than Rob Stewart? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Maybe when your paycheck starts looking like his. <laughs> Okay. Well, that'll definitely increase my female viewership. So the wig is done. I'm very pleased. There's a stunning resemblance to Rod Stewart. I'm pretty sure you can all see it. But there it is. And now it's time to talk about having a competition for wig making. It has to be a prize. So let's take a look at it. The prize is going to be this fine looking Winchester number no. 3 size plane. She's been completely restored and is ready to be put to work. And there's an example of what she produced on the test drive. She didn't have a front knob when I found her, so the front knob is a replacement. The tote is original, but that right hand side, you see the color change right there? That little part of the tote was broken off, so I had to patch in a new piece. The bottom of the plane is perfectly flat. I don't think you could ask for a much better number three size plane and the Winchesters, they're not very common. The original depth adjustment knob was brass plated over steel. This one was steel and very rusted. If you want to compete to win this plane, you must make a wood wig. The deadline for the submission of pictures is August 1st, 2018. You need to make your wig and email me four pictures. Front, left side, back, right side. If you have the ability to put your name on the picture somewhere on the bottom side, please do. If you don't want to use your real name, then go ahead and use your uh, YouTube name. When August the 1st comes and I've got all the entries, I'll put together a video. I'll post the video and all you subscribers will get to choose who the winner is by voting. So you've got plenty of time to make your wig, so get out of your workshop and get busy. I want to see some really good wigs. This uh, Winchester plane could be yours. Well, that's it for today. Got to look to the pile, see what's next. Until then, it's time for supper. Bye.